वेलेंटीना एंड जियोवानी नो आर वेल्थी यंग कपल हु रिटर्न टू देर होम इन इज योर लोम्बार्डी आफ्टर हनीमून एंड इट इज रिवील देट वेलेंटीना इज स्टील अ वर्जिन यू टू हर हसब इलेक्टर डिस्फंक्शन द न्यूज रेपिडली ट्रावल्स एंड सून देर आर मेनी मेन हु वॉलंटीयर टू डी फ्लाव अ वेलेंटीना इंक्लूडिंग जियोवानी नोस एमोरस अंकल फेड्रिको and their lawyer Caldura but Valentina is keen to resist their advances on the other hand Giovanni no is getting increasingly bored with their loveless marriage made even more difficult by the love escapade involving his brother Gianfranco and his insatiable german wife Bridget Giovanni no and Valentina are a young married couple who after their honeymoon return home to Asia on the lake of the same name waiting for them are Giovanni's uncle Federico a womanizer who make all the women of the house and according to him when he sees woman he no longer understand anything and Valentina's mother Sora Lucia an old fashioned woman iron and severe but in the life of the couple there is a problem giovanni no is important and valentina who is still sadly a virgin talks about the problem to her mother who indignantly goes to talk to her uncle federico the latter amazed by this fact since before the wedding giovanni no was like him he implement plan together with the maid to get his nephew back as before but without success meanwhile valentina receive attention from the lawyer caldura who like everyone in the village has heard of her husband's problem but is rejected by valentina that even if she is tired of being a virgin she want to be faithful to her husband to all this situation is also added giovanni nos brother gianfranco with his wife bridget who are two erotomaniac and arouse the great envy of poor valentina on a rainy night valentina and her husband quarrel and she run away from home but luckily she is saved by morris a french boy who take her to the nudist camp where they make love to her to valentina's happiness meanwhile valentina's mother who went out on a boat with giovanni no to look for her takes refuge with him in an old shed where she make love with him and heal him the husband has a love problem and sometimes chance plays a role too in his getting not turn on The story is a good one. At the end, the husband find himself cuddling his mother-in-law. This is a classic solution to the turn-on mental block. The husband does not have any problem of having to perform in front of his mother-in-law, and his love performance happens spontaneous. The movie is funny. There are great scenes showing neighbor. who try to get advantage of the wife's agony and try to help her by trying to seduce her the wife is extremely pleasing personality at the end when the husband overcome his performance shyness he so masculine possessiveness when he notices that not only was he having love with his mother in law but his wife too had a love experience with another person in a casual but convincing manner ray lovelock play a young husband who suffer from erectile dysfunction and is unable to consummate his marriage to his beautiful new wife renzo montantiani play the husband sturdily love obsessed uncle who take an interest in helping out but he himself is too busy plowing through the luscious female cast so it is left up to the husband's mother-in-law to take matter in hand 
This movie requires a lot of suspension of disbelief. It's hard to believe any man would suffer from erectile dysfunction around the gorgeous Edwidge Fennec, let alone a virile young guy like Lovelock. It's also pretty hard to buy American Carol Baker as Edwidge Fennec's mother since the two actresses weren't all that far apart in age. Finally, the hairy and overweight Montagnani once again severely stretches plausibility cast as an irresistible Lothario sought after by the like of his married neighbor. His other nephew's fiancée and his two frisky maid. As goofy Italian love comedies go, this is fairly effective though. Marino Girolami's direction is adequate. Not as good as someone like Sergio Martino, but better than a lot of the hack that work in this genre. There is also a lot of romance by the female cast, especially Fanek, George Ellie and Ryuzi. I don't know if this will have much appeal to people who don't like Italian comedies in general, but I'd recommend it for those that do. It's a pretty stereotypical entry into the genre. At which panic, if not the movie is worth your time in this classic Italian comedy with plenty of romance scenes. She is the wife of an important husband, but the serious argument is taken very easily, with plenty of humor and of love scenes. Very good are also the other women in the cast, that wonder the movie almost always undressed. For getting the feeling of this genre of movie, so important in the Italian cinema of the 70s. There are now several more or less serious studies of the subject. You get almost a winner, it was made in Italy in 1975 with a solid cast of Edwidge Fennec, Carol Baker and Ray Lovelock, directed by Marino Girolami. In his later years, in his 60s, this man really turned things up a notch and shot one comedy after the other, and in between even a contribution to the zombie and cannibal wave, the trash festival zombies among cannibals. This is about a newly married couple that are visiting his family. Problem he can't get up in bed while everyone else in the house is enjoying around. Only after having love with his wife's mother is he healed. Well, and as always with a film from the mid 70s, I got upset about her hairstyle. The long straight hair suited her so much better than short cuts of pump. If someone look at the cover of the DVD and say why it look nice, that's Edwidge in a completely different film that was made earlier. Anyway, the movie suck, the typical Italian comedy. Something like the Bavarian leather horse and film in Italian. Not good since dear Edwidge can't save much even if we are allowed to experience her in all her glory again. Don't like the hair on her head. Also in terms of picture and sound quality look like you are watching the video cassette from the early 80s. But somehow it even has charm. It suits this kind of film so much. This is more for nostalgic and Edwidge panic completist and just all those who just want to experience the 70s. As in almost every Italian commercial film of that time, the JNB and Farnet Branca bottles are carefully placed. These two brands must have signed a long-term contract with the film producer in Italy at that time. An Italian comedy that has without any doubt the most unbelievable plot I've ever seen. Ray Lovelock, in his youthful prime, has just married Edwidge Panic and no matter how much she get undressed, he can't get it up. Ridiculous. Almost as 
अनबिलीवेबल इज द अमाउंट ऑफ एक्शन अंकल रेंजो मोन्तन यानी इज गेटिंग विथ अ बेबी ऑफ इगर इटालियन ब्यूटीज इफ यू लाइक वीमेन रे लव लॉक इन अ सुपरमैन कॉस्ट्यूम ऑन अ बीच हैविंग लव विथ मदर इन लॉ द वर्ज इन वाई प्ले ऑन द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द ऑक्सी मोर ऑन राइट फ्रॉम द टाइटल ऑल द मोर सो इफ द वाइफ इन क्वेश्चन अन टच इन स्पाइट ऑफ हर इज एन एडविज फैनेक ऑफ रेयर पट्टबेशन कवेसियस विथ दो स्लाइटली हैवी एंड डिलीसियसली स्वलन फ्लैश टू बी बीटन लाइक अ राइप पोपोन एंड इंस्टेड रेयर लव लॉक नथिंग इन वेरी हॉट रे फ्रिज दैट इज ही फ्रिज इज इन अ हॉट सीच्युएशन एंड प्लंज इन टू ऑल दैट गुड थिंग Inspiration, mockery, and maximum setback. He is so fun. Faced with Giovanni Nos' misfortune, however, the screenplay by Carlo Vio and director Marino Girolami does not follow a path that is ultimately so well known. If in another film, for example, in the Bazooka of Dr. Gordon's inhibition pseudo with the good soul complex. which also follow the same narrative procedure for which the protagonist recover the lost viril charge thanks to the pleasant and complacent mother-in-law the erectile deficit is a matter of joke and elbow date among those who make up the chorus that witnesses the tragedy here love lock surprisingly plausible in this key become the object of pietas and empathy on the part of the supporting actors girolami and one would not say knowing his crude curriculum sign a dalakamara comedy in some way evolved progressive disrespectful of the stereotype that the average public of this film expected on the subject The common opinion has it the virgin wife markedly more pushed than the gyno comedies idiotic term coined by Butta Fava but anyway let's use it of the period Fenech usually did full frontal nudity without any problem and in other circumstances she had her body massaged by a woman with a crypt of female temptation the accompanying girls perhaps give us more insight of her especially Florence Barn when she rolled between the seat with Mitchell Gamino without caring about the wrong angle of incidence of the lens as for Maria Rosaria Riuzzi the nicest starlet in the entire Italian cinema she tempered the spiciness of certain situation in laughter such as when she find herself with Gamino making love in the pantry between cured meat exchange for member and other amenity of the zonre carol baker poses the dilemma of whether she had really aged all of a sudden compared to the yellows of a few years earlier or if they tend her like this for cynic need but the high she flaunt in the end proof for the later instead the milanese dialogue edited by enzo zeneki and beppe viola work little not out of weakness in itself but because the jokes do not stick to the character play by two little nordic actors la mogli virgine internationally released as at last at last valentina the virgin wife and you have got to have heart is a 1975 italian comedy all italiana directed by marino girolami for their honeymoon giovanni no and valentina go to the villa of his uncle federico on lake isio their first and subsequent night are a failure as she is shy and he despite no difficulty with other women cannot perform news of this non consummation spread through the family and even into the town to counter the same both federico and the family lawyer offer to initiate valentina but she refuses tension mount when giovanni nos brother gianfranco arrive with his insatiable german wife bridget valentina's mother lucia also turn up to encourage her increasingly stressed daughter who 
after a fierce family argument run out to the lake side afraid she might attempt suicide giovanni no and lucia take a motor boat in search of her but it ran out of fuel a ferocious storm break and a young french tourist find the shock and severing valentina taking her to his tent after getting her to strip and dry herself he quietly and tenderly takes her virginity meanwhile the shocked and severing giovanni no and lucia have paddled to shore and found shelter in a fisherman's hut where after stripping and drying lucia find he has no difficulty in making love when all three have found their way back to federico's house in the morning lucia announces that giovanni no and valentina will now come to live with her